Nickel Chrome seemed like a really nice alloy to start um, with, but now we had to figure out how we're going to incorporate oxides into our, our process and into our, our uh, printed part. We did start with mechanical alloying uh, just really briefly, and the issue what we found was that when you mechanically alloy and, you, and you're trying to uh, basically mechanically force those oxides into your metal powder, um, you destroyed the morphology of that powder. Um, what was used to be very spherical and able to flow in your 3D printer um, to build parts is now uh, deformed, much more platelet-like. Uh, it has a tendency to stick and becomes much more difficult to print. And so you keep incorporating other defects and issues into your, your powder when we try to do that. And so we kind of quickly gave up on pursuing mechanical alloying as a route. And what we ended up doing instead was uh, actually coat the nickel cobalt chrome powder with nanoscale yttria. The secret? The metal powder is coated with a ceramic before it's printed. But this happens at a nanoscale level. Particles so small they use sound waves to get the correct mixture. So basically what we do is we take uh, nickel cobalt chrome powder that we purchased and put about one wave percent uh, uh, yttria into a container and we mix it with this new acoustic mixing technique, that high energy mixing technique. And what happens is that nanoscale yttria uh, coats the nickel cobalt chrome powder. Um, you can kind of see here on a cross section uh, cut of a coated powder, you get about a layer of 250 nanometer stick of yttria surrounding the nickel cobalt chrome. And the EDS kind of helps confirm that um, in the right there. Um, another way we can look at it is looking at nickel cobalt chrome powder uh, before coating and after coating. And you can kind of see here, uh, uncoated is on the left, the middle is uh, coated. And really, uh, we get this really nice, uh, dense coating um, on all our metallic powder um, after um, this uh, coating step. And if you really zoom in, it, it kind of looks like we get some nice compaction of the yttria uh, with also some loose particles um, on the surface of our, our uh, uh, metallic powder. And so what was really exciting was one, you know, it didn't deform the metallic powder. We still had very spherical powder after the coating step. And when we uh, used half flow tests to explore the flowability of both pre and coated powders, what we found is that at least qualitatively, it didn't appear to affect the flow uh, of the powder at all after we coated it. And so we felt pretty confident that we were gonna be able to put it in the 3D printer and uh, actually work with uh, the coated powder. This advanced dispersion coating technique can successfully coat metallic powders with nanoscale ceramics. And you know, a point that I didn't really you know, make earlier in the slides was we, we strongly believe and we have earlier early results showing that we really can take almost any metallic powder and coat it with almost any type of ceramic. Uh, and so really, you know, the design space of new materials uh, is huge um, using this new uh, coating technique. 